from so going from manual mode to automatic mode or a time delay mode we just press the time delay so now we're in time delay mode and we're going to set that slightly higher because I'm already fast at these things so I'm going to give it 1.5 1.5 seconds between fills some people can do this with like 0.2 seconds but it's not not for me so that's now set so we look at the settings so it's going to have a start speed of 1500 rpm into a count point of 2000 and continue at 1500 rpm to a count point of 4000 so this is actually not profile filling this is just filling continuously at 1500 rpm to that point and we know that that through testing that that fills that bottle at that speed so we go back to this mode or this screen it doesn't matter, I can start on this screen, start the cycle from here, or I can start the cycle from here. If, for example, we were slightly over, or we wanted to change the slight top values, we can set that up and down using these buttons here. And if we go back to our settings, we see it changes here. Alternatively, 5218. Just depends how you want to do it. But it's found a cut there, actually. This came from a customer they were just happy to say that it was better in this way they could trim things very quickly without having to go in they're changing products quite quickly anyway so to start fill cycle again we'll just press start fill cycle and I'll fill 10 containers It's quite a comfortable speed. And stop the fill cycle. And then we've got one more. We can just fill a single bottle on its own. So we've got 10 bottles filled. I think the record is one customer managed to do 65 a minute by hand. That's the record. And that's on a 10 mil fill. I think we're 22 on a 50 mil. And that's going some. <laughs> 